I'd say the thing that, that's facing most rural districts, uh, number one is that many of the laws that come out of our capital are geared toward those bigger districts, but the impacts that they have on the small districts are devastating. When we're supposed to do some of the increased reporting that we're required to do, we don't have additional people to do that. Uh, I'm the superintendent. I'm also the transportation director. I'm also the director of curriculum. I'm also the HR director. And the list goes on and on. And when you add, continue to add to people's plate, they can't be affected. The most important job I do is making sure that the educational program in our district is sound. And when I'm asked to do all these other things, it takes away from my ability to ensure that we have good teachers in the classroom doing a good job. Rural districts across Colorado are seeing decreased enrollment. That's our biggest challenge right now. The only way we're going to increase that enrollment is to show folks that we have a great school district, get people to move to our district, not just for our economic opportunities, but people, especially with business uh, neutral location, pardon me, business location neutral businesses, they can go wherever they want. And they want to come to a, a district like Dolores, but they don't want to come if we're decreasing funding if we're increasing class sizes. So it just makes the problem of declining enrollment worse.